This session provides an overview of the types of physical effects from accidents on oil and gas and chemical facilities. What are physical effects? Physical effects can potentially cause serious harm to people through injuries and fatalities, to the environment through short and long-term land, air or water contamination, as well as to assets through damage to equipment which can cause the event to escalate in size which can have subsequent consequences such as prolonged shutdown and loss of production. Next, we will look at the various types of physical effects we might choose to model. The physical effects include release of a substance in any form, gas, liquid or mixed phase. The substance can be either flammable, toxic or both. One of the most complex releases is probably the liquid or mixed phase, as part of the release may vaporise almost immediately. However, part may remain as a liquid, hence the release jet or stream will directly feed into a pool on the ground. Dispersion of gas cloud, flammable and or toxic, which in other words is a process during which the cloud spreads by mixing and diluting with air. Whilst the reality is not quite so clear-cut, generally, for risk analysis, releases are modelled in these two categories. Continuous release. This usually means the release goes on for more than a few minutes, and a steady state plume is achieved. At this steady state, new material released from the hole or breach is sufficient to replace the material lost from the edges of the plume as it mixes with the air. Instantaneous releases are short duration, say less than a few minutes, and do not continue to be fed from the source. The classical instantaneous release is a catastrophic rupture of a vessel. Other physical effects include fire events such as jet fires, pool fires, flash fires and fireballs. A continuous leak from a pressurised vessel or pipe would produce a high momentum jet which if immediately ignited would burn as a jet fire. A pool fire. In most cases, liquid releases are of relatively low momentum and a pool will develop over a horizontal surface, contained by topography, bonds, etc. Ignition of the vapour evaporating from the pool will result in a pool fire as shown in this photo. A flash fire, which is also known as a cloud fire, is a short-lived fire caused by ignition of a mixture of air and flammable gas or liquid. This video shows a release of flammable gas, the white vapour, which disperses and mixes with air until it reaches one of the surrounding ignition sources. Unlike jet fires, which immediately ignite, flash fires happen when there is a delay before ignition and the flammable gas has time to mix with air. In uncongested and unconfined areas, the overpressure effects of delayed ignition are usually negligible. People within a flash fire envelope, this is the area of the gas cloud that is flammable, are seriously affected and usually assumed to be killed. Boiling liquid expanding vapour explosions or blevies are a violent explosion event caused by the catastrophic rupture of a vessel containing a pressurised liquid above its boiling point. Blevies occur when such a vessel is impinged by a flame for long enough to cause the vessel wall to fail. The physical effects from a blevy can include overpressure caused by the rapid gas expansion and sections of the ruptured vessel forming missiles. However, the most significant consequences are those of thermal radiation from the resulting fireball, which is initially on the ground but immediately rises. This video shows a real-life blevy.
A fireball is a rising sphere of burning material ignited immediately following a release. Fireballs can result in harm to people due to engulfment by flames. This can be immediately fatal to those within range. Harm can also occur from thermal radiation. This can result in injuries or fatalities to those outside the fireball, depending on their distance away and duration of exposure. Unlike very short-lived fires, fireballs have longer durations and so can cause injuries or fatalities to people outside the fireball envelope. Explosions are the result of a delayed ignition of a flammable gas-air mixture within a congested or confined area. Unlike fires, where the main physical effect is heat, the main effect of explosion is overpressure, causing harm to people or damaging structures which can then act as missiles. This plot shows the area affected by overpressure generated from an explosion. There are a number of conditions that must be present for an explosion to occur, such as formation of a flammable cloud within its flammability limits, presence of an active ignition source, and congestion or confinement in the area. As discussed previously, in a completely open environment, a gas cloud mixed with air, such that the concentration lies between its flammability limits, would result in a flash fire if ignited, rather than an explosion. Fires on oil and gas and chemical facilities can produce smoke, which can disperse over large distances. Depending on the type of material that is burning, the size of the fire and the supply of the oxygen to the fire, different types and quantities of smoke are formed. Smoke can result in harm to people through inhalation of toxic combustion products, for example carbon monoxide, through impairment of visibility, which can potentially prevent safe escape from fires, and also a rise in temperature above habitable levels. Dispersion of oil and water is an event which is predominantly related to offshore oil installations, either fixed or mobile, and also oil tankers. However, this effect can also address an oil release from an offshore installation into a river or lake. This presentation has provided an introduction to the various types of physical effects experienced at an oil and gas and process facilities.